If you're on a gluten-free and dairy-free diet, you aren't going to want to miss this cinnamon sweet potato bread recipe. It is a healthy treat that is so delicious. Hi everybody, I'm Carrie, and this is Clean Eating Kitchen, where I share real food recipes that make you feel great. And today I do have a healthy dessert recipe. It's this sweet potato cinnamon bread. It's really easy to make and it is so yummy. So in my last video, I showed you how easy it is to make Instant Pot sweet potatoes. And then today we're gonna use those cooked sweet potatoes as the base of this sweet potato bread. So let me show you exactly how to make this recipe. So the first step is to grab an oven safe loaf pan and spray it with nonstick cooking spray, which you can find in the baking section of most grocery stores. And then grab a medium mixing bowl and remove the skin from two cooked sweet potatoes. And the insides of the sweet potatoes will be the base of our sweet potato bread. And you can just discard the skins since we won't be needing them in this bread. And after we get the sweet potatoes in the bowl, we're going to add our eggs. And if you wanna make this recipe vegan, you can just sub out the eggs for two flax eggs or two chia eggs. And then we need to grab our coconut oil and measure out a half of a cup. And after I measure it out, then I like to transfer it to a microwave safe bowl and zap it for about 30 seconds to liquefy it. And we're gonna be adding some applesauce later, which will help offset the need for more oil. But um, after we've liquefied the coconut oil, let's just stir together the ingredients and add the applesauce that I mentioned. And I've also already put the coconut oil in with the liquid ingredients. And then along with the applesauce, we're going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. And I have included the exact recipe for the sweet potato bread in the description below. Next, we're gonna grab our gluten-free flour. And I like the brand from Bob's Red Mill, but you can really use whatever gluten-free flour you like. Uh, this is not sponsored, but I've just had good luck with that flour. And then we're gonna use coconut sugar to add sweetness to the bread. You can use between one or one and a half cups, depending on how much sweetness you like. And then we're going to add our baking soda, um, which I believe is two teaspoons. And then we're going to add a full tablespoon of cinnamon. And oh my gosh, this bread is so cinnamony. And then the last of the dry ingredients is a fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt. And we'll just use a whisk to mix it all together. And then we're gonna add the liquid ingredients to the dry ingredients. And as I was stirring this together, I realized I needed a little bit more wetness, so I added some water. So it really kind of just depends. I mean, baking is usually an exact science, but you know, you just kind of have to work with it. Um, and it ends up, it'll end up turning out great. So if you, you can add water if you think you need to or leave it out if you don't, but it should be like this thick batter consistency. And then we're just gonna put the sweet potato bread into the oven. It's at 375 and it is going to take between 55 minutes to an hour. You wanna keep an eye on it. Um, once it's finished, it will be, um, it's a really dark color and you should be able to stick a toothpick in the middle and have it come out clean. Now, I wanted to slice this right out of the oven so I could take a bite, but um, it will slice much easier after it's been cooled down and then even refrigerated. Um, but it, I just really wanted to take a bite so I could test it for you. So I really hope that you like, like this recipe and if you do please hit the button, the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks!